my goal is to exercise um, what is allowed for under binding arbitration uh, to pursue getting this issue in front of the State uh, Employment Relations Board. Um, I believe that our investigation was very thorough and that the discipline that we pursued and enacted was the fair discipline based on the merits of the case. Again, we didn't find any evidence of malice in Mr. Frashire's actions and judgments, but we did find that he acted outside of police protocols. And part of the protocols uh, include making good decisions. Same. You have the opportunity to do police ride-alongs. I encourage the public to do that. You will find that the Portland Police Bureau is full of incredibly talented, hardworking, uh, compassionate public servants. Um, with a group of, of employees that, that numbers close to uh, almost a thousand, uh, depending on the budget year, you're going to have issues like this happen. And when they do happen, especially in a police bureau that has that sacred authority and responsibility for use of force, um, you know, this is worth, uh, I believe that standing up for our principles for appropriate use of force are worth fighting for. In regards to this rally that just occurred outside, folks were highly critical of police training and tactics. Do you think that criticism is fair? Well, again, um, I'm trying to get, you know, our work has been to get the police bureau out of sort of lurching from crisis to crisis, and that that is the only impetus for change. You've seen we brought forward a lot of changes uh, without a crisis that, that calls for it. Everything from, you know, drug, alcohol, and steroid testing to, you know, we're pursuing now the discussion of, of employee evaluations. These are all initiatives that are part of our continuous improvement efforts. So the short answer is no matter what aspect of any city bureau you look at, you know, under my administration, it's about improving. No matter how good we are now, it's about always improving.